morning folks um another passport bro um topic that really got me thinking last night now i'll only say this particular suburb i was working in um carlton in melbourne now for those who does not know carlton is uh, uh it's very close to the city maybe you say like two kilometers away from city or one kilometer and I just want to let you guys know, right? Yeah, I know you want a traditional life. Yeah, I know you want this, you want that. You can start a family, you have a vision, you have a dream. She's the right one. Okay, I'm not going to say no to it. But I'm just going to let you guys know. You're going to be forever having money problem. Not fulfillment in life. A lot of baggage. And um, you'll never enjoy life. And money is always the biggest issue. And the more things it is, you have more expenditures in a in a in a week and a month. Like me, example. Like I said, depending on the the culture that you're married to, right? In my the partner's culture is being amazing. They all want to do nail salon. You want to open a business for her. And you, there's a lot of money involved. And not only just that, but also with... There's legality, there's like protocols from the government. You know, you have to follow everything. And obviously, in their world, don't follow it. Do the dodgy route. You yell, you fight, you fight, and then you open a shop. Your shop is not secured by insurance because you do not have permit. You're not going to the legit route. And if it collapse, you're liable. The insurance, even you pay for it, it's not liable. The insurance you pay for for the uh, the the uh, the landlord, it's not liable. So you have all that not liable. This becomes a problem. Let's just say it collapse. It, you know, if the compo on that individual got hurt, it's a question that I cannot answer you. And uh, also earthquake and natural disaster. That's something, you know, we cannot talk about. And like another scenario, what if she made a lot of money? She's going to piss you off because now she's a boss bitch. She's making money. She's making more money than you. And this is where it becomes a power trip with the whole thing. Now let's get back to what I mentioned before, a two kilometers radius um, area. It's a great lifestyle what the people go through. They probably work 9 to 5 or not even have a job or maybe just have a lot of passive income enjoying life. What they do is that obviously they have a sausage dog or, you know, expensive dog. You know, all these rich areas do have a very, you know, lavish lifestyle. You know, take their dog out, meet with other dogs, unleashed as well. They don't run away, barking everywhere. They have picnics on that park. They talk, yell. No, they not yell, but they talk, laughed, enjoying life, sipping wine. At night, you guys go around, you know, uh, whatever, neighborhood, pub, brew, cafe. You're enjoying life. Yet, we decide to choose the slavery life, the baggage life. And just continuity money problem and things change and the priorities change. You guys fight. And the only language that you guys know is sex. That's the only thing. that's going to forget everything. And maybe you pop another kid and another kid and another kid. That's why I said you're not enjoying life. That's the path that you've taken. You're the one to be blamed, not to see these coming. Maybe you dated a, a local girl. Yeah, some opinions. It's not, not the same, whatever. But at least you can enjoy life. Having takeouts, going this, doing that. Having holidays, you know. When you live in that sort of uh, areas, and this and that, you have multiple holidays in a year. And when you think about you going holidays with as a passport, bro, going to whatever country it is, you start to realise, shit. They're going to talk about money, you're going to give more money, this and that. There's always money problem. They want to do this, they want to do that. Their problem is your problem, you know, if they force upon you. And that's why I say it's not enjoying when you have that at all. 